Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we will be looking at the Zimmer board. Now Zimmer reached out, or Zimmer board, I don't know if Zimmer is short or not, but anyway, they reached out to me I think like a month or maybe even a couple of months ago now uh, asking if I'd be interested in reviewing the Zimmer board and I immediately looked it up and they sent me some links to the Kickstarter and that and I was like, wow, this looks awesome. It's a x86 based single board computer um and this one here has eight gigabytes worth of ram it's a quad core intel cpu um i'll put um a bit of a write-up in a blog that i also have just started up uh, that will have a lot of more of the details um around all of this as well as in the description of the youtube video um but i and i will cover again all of these ports as well but yeah i said i'm more than happy to review it and what I'm going to do is pretty much make this kind of like a, a multi-part series. Uh, so this first episode that you're watching now is simply just going to be a bit of an overview. Um, we'll plug it in and have a look at what it looks like upon first startup. Um, and then pretty much call it there. And then the next episodes will be, you know, installing more on here, hooking up the Cloudflare, maybe offboarding some of the services from my Raspberry Pi onto this and making this my daily driver. We don't know. We'll see how this goes over the next coming weeks and months. So if we wanted to do a bit of an overview um, and we can use the box to help guide this a bit, you can see here that on the... Um, uh, on the bottom here, we've got uh, two SATA uh, up to six uh, gigabit a second, which is solid. Um, and you can use, you know, hard drives or solid state drives on here. Um, you, it's got a PCIe on the side here. And now they do have adapters and stuff on their website. And you can get like one that's for an NVMe if you want to be able to hook up like an NVMe up to this. Um, and any a uh, bunch of other add-ons. Um, I'll leave some link in the description so you can kind of check all that out. Um, there's those SATA ports that I was just talking about before. Uh, you can connect here, and in the middle is the power for those. And then coming back, uh, you've got two gigabit uh, Ethernet LANs. So that's what these are here. And then you've also got a mini display uh, connection here as well. Um, they were kind enough to put in the box. An adapter for me as well if I do want to use this but I'm probably just gonna um, connect to this via the web console because believe it or not these um, the people who made Zimmerbox also are responsible I believe they're the creators of Casa OS so that's that software that I've made a video on and I'll have a, a card in the top right corner or left or wherever it's going to be um, of that and that was a nice GUI interface for managing like um, the containers and everything running on uh, a Raspberry Pi but now in this case it's going to be with Zimmerboard. So we'll just have a quick look on the side and here so this is kind of what I was saying before that um, it's got the PCIe on the side we can get up to 36 terabytes of storage on this bad boy which is awesome. Uh, you've got the dual uh, gigabit networks and you've got the 4k display output. Now, my one here is the Zimmerboard 832, uh, and you can see that I've got the 8 gigabyte RAM uh, and 32 gigabytes of the onboard storage. Um, and uh, it's also, yeah, the, the quad core as well. And you can also see down the bottom that the, the big point of this is it's an x86 single board so a lot more compatibility um, with software and whatnot again i guess like another obvious thing uh, besides all the ports and whatnot is that the case it's just a giant heat shield like heat sink right um if i'll grab um i'll see if i've got a raspberry pi around so i've got a raspberry pi here and now this one is in a case and i had to get this it's a, a, it's a third party case but normally um, when you get like Raspberry Pis and stuff like that, they just come as a board. And that's the cool thing about them and people love that. Um, but if you're trying to use it for actual everyday like workloads, it gets hot and you have to get a case like this. Now in the case, um, in terms of the Zimmer board, you don't have to worry about that. Well, let's see anyways in terms of how well this performs over time. But just from looking at it, I don't think heat is going to be a problem here. Um, but let's actually find out over the next uh, few weeks. So I think without further ado, I already have an Ethernet cable here and I've already got the power here. 
and they were kind enough to also send me a New Zealand power adapter for the um, the power bricks. So that was awesome. I didn't have to go looking for one. Um, but anyway, I think what we'll do now is we'll go ahead, we'll plug it in, and we'll go to, there's a bit of a little start guide here. Um, and all you have to do is go to casaos.local. Now, I have already gone to this and I've already installed Jellyfin because I was just playing around and testing it out. So when I do boot this up, that's the only thing that's going to be non-stock is that I've already installed Jellyfin, uh, the Docker image, uh, when you see that, but everything else is bog standard. Very good, right here. So um, I think I'll just leave that running and let's connect to the console i think I'll, I'll just leave this board kind of sitting in the top right hand corner of the screen and then we'll um yeah carry on rightio so here we are so i've just logged in um and i've just gone to that casa uh os.local uh you can kind of see it in the top left i know it's probably really small especially if you're looking at this on a phone um but in the top left um you can see the url that i've gone to so again like i said the only thing that's not bog standard out of the box is the fact that i have jellyfin here uh, but everything else is pretty much Casa OS. Now, Casa OS isn't really an operating system. I believe what's running in the back end of this is Debian. Um, but Casa OS is just a bit of software you can install uh, that helps managing, you know, like your Docker containers, files, uh, and you can do a bunch of other things. So if I go to the App Store, you'll probably get like a bit of an idea. But again, I've made a video on this already uh, where you can check that out. But it just makes things so easy if you want to install any of these things. You want a Pi-hole set up, Plex server, a, a simple file browser. Um, it's, yeah, it just makes life so easy. And I, to be honest, I'm probably going to stick with Casa OS, especially for the um, a good chunk of this, because, you know, I can install Debian and I can install a lot of other bits of software, but um, this is just such a nice interface that, I might as well use it, right? I think the only thing I'm really going to look at changing is maybe adding more storage um, rather than using the onboard storage because as you can see, um, we only have, what, 20, uh, 27 gigabyte usable. Uh, so I'm probably going to look at getting some good storage for this bad boy. But that here is pretty much the Zimmer board. You know, it's what we're looking at here is pretty much the bog standard setup right we haven't done anything we haven't added any storage we haven't changed anything we're not really using any crazy services on it all we've done is unboxed it we've plugged it in we've created our account and logged into the casa os that comes pre-installed on zimmer board okay now the next steps i would like to do is start putting this through some of its paces increasing the storage how is it, how does that work how easy is it um and then also maybe making this a Plex server. How is the media streaming um, for all the wider network? If I were to install Plex on here, and then I go to watch, uh, uh, install the client on my TV, how is the quality? Can this handle streaming? Um, 1080p, 4K, you know what I mean? Um, is there any lag? How hot does it get? Um, all of that cool stuff. And even I might just do a bit of, um, <laughs> a bit of fun and, tested against a Raspberry Pi. Now, I don't think that's a fair competition to do because just based off the specs alone, this Zimmer board will beat the Raspberry Pi. Um, but yeah. Now, there's a couple other key points as well that um, around the cost. Now, from their website, I believe this version was $200. Now, I believe that's US pricing. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'll just leave the um information and stuff in the description so you can check it out but to be honest trying to find a raspberry pi at the moment they're, they're expensive as, as they are trying to find a raspberry pi 4 um floating around so yeah these going for something like this for the price to be honest if if, if you can get a you spend what 200 bucks american and you get a solid piece of equipment like this where you can expand the memory and it's going to become like your home server and the size of it it's to be honest it's not it doesn't scream um like cheap but it does scream quality and um you know you, you you're getting what you pay for do you know what i mean um so that's my initial reaction with the zimmer board 
what we'll do now is look up for the next video and we'll start playing around with software um, and also increasing the storage. But I really appreciate you checking out the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.